Hey guys, I'm going to be doing an uh, updated collection tour after Briarfest. I do have some other horses coming in the mail, but that's not for a lo little bit, so I figured I'll do this video now. Just make videos of my horses coming in the mail, so if you see gaps on my shelves, then that's where new horses are coming in, and I'll just tell you the mold, I won't tell you the horse. So, yeah, I'm gonna kind of get this video started because I have a lot of horses to go through and sorry if I'm breathing heavy. I just got back from a walk with my dog so I'm trying to catch my breath and I have water around here somewhere so I might, yeah, I don't know where it went. But yeah, so I'm going to start this video before this bit gets too long because it's, yeah. And I might have some other news for you guys so we shall see. But that'll be in another video if I do what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna start off the collection tour on my book cabinet. This has, th it has four shelves, but I use three shelves for horses and I'm on the extra long shelf. And if you see stuff, it's just stuff I made in art class. Mostly, mostly I do photography. Okay, anyway, on to the horses, if it focus. So right here we have Vahana. He is from Briarfest 2017. And I can't remember how many of them were made. It's in my notebook, but I'm not going to get my binder. I have the Clydesdale Mare, which is just a regular run. Then I have John Wayne's Duke, who is a tractor supply horse. Then I have two Fams or Pams. I don't know which one they are. I really <laughs> can't remember their molds. I have it in my binder again, but I'm not going to snoop through my binder. So I have two binders now. So they're both in the same year, and they're both glossy. One's a charcoal, and one's a alabaster. The alabaster is in worse shape than charcoal, but yeah, still love them. And then I have this horse. I honestly, for the love of me, cannot pronounce her OF name, but it's like glitter something, and she's the 65th anniversary horse from a few years ago. She's a limited edition. Then I have my Peter Stone American Saddlebred. This is my father's chair. He is. Uh, limited to like 15, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but he's gorgeous. Love him. Then we have uh, our CMP Musical Ride. Uh, yep. And then I have two Appaloosa Indian Ponies. I have the Appaloosa non-war paint, non-chalky. He's the regular run version. Then I have the chase figure, harder to find figure, chalky with war paint yeah. markings on him. He has that around his eye. He has horseshoes on his shoulder over here and on his flank he has a handprint and a lightning bolt on his other shoulder on his other side. Then I have two Andalusian stallions. I have the pink breast cancer horse who if you hold him to the light you can see through him. He's really cool. Then I have Glycero or Glycero. He is a flagship model from last year. So that is him. Then off to this corner I just have everybody has seen him betwixt the cash. I have probably one of my favorite regular runs. This is Chocolate Chip Kisses. He's just a really nice regular run. I like him. We have Beachcomber. She's a flagship model and she's a really nice horse. I love her. Then we have Aurelius or Aurelius. He is another flagship model. Then I have this limited edition horse that I don't know what year he came from. He is from the 90s, I believe. There are 2000 something, I believe, made of him. His name is Europa. He has. Um, the map of Europe on him, and he is really cool. Really like him. Then I have the original Secession. She is not the regular run version. She's the original Secession. Then I have Smoke. She's from J.C. Penny set. And then she, they have O.T. Ceremonier, who is a regular run. And then in the back, I have a 2001 Halloween horse. This is Skullduggery. He has ghosts on his forehead and skulls on his flank, and he is on the silver mold, and he is just all around a really cool horse. Down here, I have the best British Highland Pony, who is really adorable. I really like him. And we have Happy Days from Briarfest 2006, who, another, again, really nice horse. She doesn't say anything on her stomach because she has a COA. Then I have Icicle, who is a flagship model from, like, 2013, I believe. Then we have Starlight, who's just a regular run, and he is from the Saddle Club series. Then I have another Peter Stone. This guy is called the Blue Lace Agate Pony, and he's from 2001, and there's an unknown number of how many other made of him. He is based off a real stone. Okay, then we have Smoke and Double Dutch. She's just a regular run. 
Then I have two foals. I have the Clydesdale foal, who is again just another really adorable regular run. And then I have Creamsicle, who was one of those fun foals project horses. You just get the whole the foal and box. Then I have Mischief Knight, and he is a love special Halloween horse from a couple of years ago. I don't know how good this is gonna be. I am currently sitting on the ground because I don't feel like getting up yet. So this is the Silver Filigree Misty from 2000 from Briarfest 2014. Her bag's up there, and she is really cool. I don't know what her OF name is. It's like Let's Party or Time to Party, something like that. Then we have my unicorn. Ignore the dead spider in the background. We have my unicorn. There she is from the 90s. There's 4,000 made of her, and she's a Toys R Us special run. Then we have Quick Step, who's again like a fun foals thing. Then we have the Overall Paint Foal, who comes with the Overall Paint Mary, you'll see in a little bit. Then we have Twilight, who again is another. Twilight's the running foal right there. Twilight is another fun foal like thing that you just got the foal in a box. And then we have two. I technically have four of these girls, but two of them are with me right now. One is kind of being shipped to me for because she I got her commissioned. Another one is going out because I'm commissioning her to a custom. But right now what I have with me are two OS. I have the Chestnut Classic Half Leaner, which is that one. Then I have the new regular run. Both these are regular runs. The new Bay Pinto Pony. I just adore. She is adorable. So I love her. I really don't collect classics, but nice molds like this I do like. Down here on this very empty shelf I have two horses and various spread apart. I have the Briarfest 2017 Celebration Horse Nazudine and I do have another Marawari coming in so yep and then we have Glossy Heartbreaker over there because he likes to fall. Down here are my minis. We have this girl right here is a prize model from Spearman theme 2015. This girl is a factory custom so a swish tail, and that's itty bitty. I can't remember how many I've made of her. This is an OF Briar Resin. He's the American Saddlebred, and he's crooked. There we go. And then I have a Collect Day. He's the black and white Appaloosa. Then I have two Shalike. I have another one, but you'll see him later. Two Shalike, and it's a unicorn and a donkey. Then I have two Peter Stones. This one is a regular run from a few years ago, and this one is a limited edition. There's seven made of him, I believe, and that's Mini Me Springs of Poppin'. Then I have some customs. Those two are done by the same person. That's done by my friend Dan Danielle, who, like, this horse is super nice. I really like him. She kindly just gave him to me. And then I have some OFs right here. That on the end is a bandit. Then I just have Mini American Pharaoh and some great Appaloosa guy, and then that guy, and I have Senior Carrots from the uh, Spirit Riding Free Blind Bags, and then I have some Foals. That is a custom done by the same lady that did those two. Okay, above my bed I have more Foals and some paintings I did. So that's Luna. She's a classic Foal. That's really her OF name is Luna. Then I have some twin sets, if I zoom out, that twin set is from 2012, and this is from the late 90s, and she is a serious Welsh run, so those two came together, and then those two came together, and then I have Leah Fancy Briar, who, this horse is adorable, I've been after her for a long time, and my friend let me get her, so... That's her. I have these bodies that are probably going to become package gifts because I just need them out of my life. Then I have my grand champion model horse that my friend, my grandma's, my grandmother's friend kindly gave to me. And I named him Pennsylvania and that's the only name you're going to get out of me because all my other horses, I'm not saying their OF names. I'm not saying their show names, actually, I'm saying their OF names. There's my other show like I have. He's be currently being used as a jewelry horse. I hope to get him back on the shelf over there sometime. Okay, moving to the top, I have lots of mini congas up here. Starting off with my very small Vallegro conga. I have the regular run, Math of Vallegro. And then I have Indu, who's glossy, and he is from Briarfest 2017. Then I have Lionheart, who is a flagship model from a long time ago. I can't remember how long he came out. Then I have Samba Surprise from last year. Um, he is the right, most common version, the black and white overall. 
really nice. And then I have two cigars. I have Glossy Affirm, who is only a thousand made in glossy form. And then I have the regular Toys R Us gray, dappled gray thoroughbred on this mold. He's a Toys R Us special run, and I am getting another cigar. So that's why there's a space right there. Okay, so in my cabinet, I have, it's full. Until I get more shelves in here. So up here, I have Khan, who's just a regular run from a few years ago. The Fun Fools Red Road Mare, who's a treasure hunt horse. You bought a mare and a stallion together, and you would make a baby. And then you send in your PC codes and get a baby, but I just got her because... I needed for my conga, and I didn't get into mo model horses until after that was over. And I have Versailles, who's a Briarfest 2015 special run, who, this horse is gorgeous. I love her. Love her better than the pictures show her as. Then I have uh, uh, Equinox, who was a QVC special run from 2002, I believe. Then I have this custom Wixom, who is nice. She has some um, added feathering and Stuff like that. I'm getting another Wixom, so yay. And then I have the Best of British Irish Shot right here, who this horse is really nice. I love him. Uh, I just need to get an LSQ one because you can see his ear is chipped from Briar's factory. I don't know if you guys will be able to see these guys because they are in a dark corner and light doesn't really get in here. But right there is Black Caviar. She's a regular run and she, there she is. And I have American Pharaoh, the traditional version. So there she is. Then I have my Glossy Juju Valentine, who really love that horse. She's gorgeous. Then, and this is a classic I have in here. This is El Punto. He is, I don't know what he is. He's like a regular run, I think. He is part of the Wild Mustang series. Really nice. I'm zoomed in, so. Over here, I have my Accidental Congo of Lady Phases. I have the Overall Paint Mare, who goes with the, with the foal you saw. Then I have So Something. She's a Mid-States horse from 2015, I believe. Then I have Leah's Fancy Chick, who is a Briarfest celebration horse. The full you saw, I forgot to say, but she's a Briarfest special run from the 2000s. Both of these guys are from the 2000s. And she has the long tail, she has the swish tail, and she has the short tail. Then I have Little Ricky Rocker, who is just a really nice Appaloosa regular run on the Zippo Pine Bar mold. Down here, I have my accidental conga of... Um, Atticus's, I have Wapiti, who is, has the swish tail version, and he is a flagship model. Then I have the regular run Snowman with the normal Atticus mane and tail. Then I have the regular run version of Brunello, and he has the braided mane and tail. Really nice horse, like him a lot. And then we have the Western Pony, limited edition from like 2013. I have no idea when she came out, but she is really adorable. And then last but not least, I have my accidental conga of Othello's. I have Matt Fall, who I just love him. I have SPH Phoenix because I just adored him when I saw him came out. Then I have a little flagship horse. This is Argyle, so how to get him. So this is my model horse collection tour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll give you an overview. There we go. Like I said, I need more shelves. I'm out of room. That shelf will be filled up before long. Now that's going to be hard to see, but yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm sorry for this very long video. But yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.